This is Daria Shabad with CorporateProfile.com reporting on the news for Tuesday, July 24th, 2012. British prosecutors announced that a total of 19 charges are being brought against eight people, including Rebecca Brooks and Andy Coulson, relating to the phone hacking scandal that had left Britain gasping for air. And it is actually quite horrendous what they did. Among other similar scenarios, the two ex-News of the World editors are charged with accessing the murdered schoolgirl Millie Dowler's phone messages. Mrs. Brooks pleads not guilty, stating that she had no way been authorizing phone hacking, nor did she know anything about it. Mr. Colson, the former communications chief of Prime Minister David Cameron, is also accused of being directly involved in the accessing of Millie's texts. A total of 600 victims, including Hollywood greats Brad Pitt and Angelina Jolie, seem to have been at the mercy of the News of the World phone hacking activities. The accused could be facing massive fines or up to two years in jail. Are fines really going to do anything? Just saying. Stay tuned for more updates. As if the German people have not suffered enough at the hands of its fellow Eurozone slackers, Moody's is now changing Germany's AAA rating to negative, which is one step away from a downgrade. Moody's, the extremely reliable ratings agency, especially during its credit ratings failure, stated that the Eurozone may lose Greece to the Greek god Bacchus, that's the god of wine, orgies and slacking for those who didn't know, also known as exit from the Eurozone and that Germany is not doing enough to pull Spain out of the quicksand. Germany retaliated, stating that it would remain strong and that Moody's was only assessing the short-term risk. Yeah, shut up Moody's, giving toxic credit products triple A ratings and then unloading the negativity on poor Germany, who's busting its chops to pull everyone out of this mess. Go stand in the corner and just be quiet Moody's and take SMP with you. Shame on you. Samsung and Apple are going head to head in the patent trial fight of our times. In the right corner we have Samsung who recently overtook Apple in smartphone sales by taking 29% of the market share. In the left corner we have Apple who was left with a 23% market share and is arguing that not all was fair and clean in Samsung's ascent to the top. Apple claims Samsung blatantly copied a its iPad and iPhone designs to get ahead in the race to outdo Apple and wants a whopping $2.52 billion in damages. Samsung argues that Apple's design is not as unique as they think it is and that in fact Apple is infringing on some of Samsung's patents. In the UK, a judge had previously ruled that Samsung did not copy Apple's design and that in fact Apple products are much cooler than Samsung's. A federal courthouse in in San Jose, Cali will now decide who the true innovator and champion of the smartphone and tablet market is. May the best man win. I'm Daria Shabad with CorporateProfile.com reporting directly from Wall Street. Thank you for watching and please tune in again for more hot financial and world news.